New Mexico's death chamber has been used just once in the past 49 years to execute convicted child killer Terry Clark in 2001. Now it's being shut down. Innocent people have been put on death row all across the country. But lawmakers say there's another reason, the cost. Ten other states are also now considering banning executions, many citing the expense of prosecuting capital cases. Two parts to the trial, one to determine guilt, another whole trial to determine sentencing, and then years of appeal. Death penalty opponents say putting someone on death row costs $3 million more than a life sentence. Economic considerations now are becoming much more of a factor in shaping how the criminal justice system deals with offenders. Close that. In downtown Los Angeles, the main jail may be closed and dozens of inmates released to fill a $42 million budget hole. We must tell the public the truth and not shade things to make it appear as though this isn't a big deal. Wisconsin's governor may release 1,000 nonviolent offenders to save $27 million. In Virginia, low-risk prisoners may get out up to 90 days before the end of their sentences, saving $50 million. I don't think it's fair to public safety, and I don't think it's fair to people who are going to be victimized by these kind of proposals. This California lawmaker has a proposal, legalize marijuana and tax it. The state would tack a $50 fee on every ounce of pot sold, potentially raising $1 billion a year from California's estimated $14 billion illegal marijuana industry. So I think a lot of people are saying, you know, uh, this has been going on for years, wink, wink, nod, nod. You know, why don't we capture this? Why don't we regulate it? A CBS poll finds that most Americans think marijuana should be illegal, even if taxing it would help raise revenue. Yet while many state and local governments say public safety is still the priority, so is figuring out how to pay for it. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.